Dr. Gert Heuschmann is a veterinarian and a qualified riding instructor. He spent 10 years teaching equine physiology to the students of the German Riding Academy in Warendorf. He has spoken at the Global Dressage Forum as well as at the FEI workshop on Rollcourt in 2006 and is the author of the critical book on modern dressage, Tug of War. Dr. Heuschmann believes that modern dressage has left behind the classical ideals of equitation. Judges reward tense horses with stiff backs and exaggerated leg movements at the expense of collection, suppleness and lightness. This is particularly obvious in the movements Piaf, Passage and Extended Trot. In your opinion, what should dressage be about? Well, dressage should be close to, to an art. This means that a horse is developed slowly like a human dancer or an artist and, um, and uh, the horse should um, grow with the rider. The horse shouldn't be made doing something or to do something but the horse should do it because the, the body developed in this direction. And uh, I think there are, we are close to the point where I see the problem that especially the young horses are trained in the wrong way. Uh, a young dressage horse, a young riding horse needs two, three, four years to stabilize, to get the basics, to become strong enough. And then you go on and you can do higher um, uh, lessons. Um, Le higher lessons uh, like Piaf Passage and Half Passes and so on, then it's another problem. But if you make a horse to do it, you, ha you have to fight against tension. And if you, you, are, you have to fight against something, you never have a supple athlete. And um, a tense athlete destroys its body and this cannot be the, the aim of, of a of an artist. The, the show trot is developed out of a stiff back, uh, completely, um, well, a uh, back muscle with negative tension. This means that the horse uses its leg, its, its uh, tendons, its bones. This means orthopedic problems, this means uh, psycholo psychological problems. Um, it's a it's a negative thing. It's a, a nervous, tense athlete, and this cannot uh, be uh, the basic of good sport. I try to explain people uh, how looks um, this wrong trot, and uh, you know the lower the lower picture shows this broken diagonal and uh, a narrow neck, a stiff back, a blocked hind leg, this broken diagonal. The other horse, um, this is um, Poetin in the Bundes Championship, shows a perfect trot over the back. We call this in German backwalker, Rückengänger. This is a, a horse which can produce suspension over the uh, not stiff back to the ball. The horse comes forward and the other horse uh, has no chance to get forward because the hind leg is really slow and, and the energy is not... Uh, flowing over the supple back. Yeah. Well, as I, I told you, uh, in my opinion it is the show factor we have that uh, everybody wants to have a big show, wants to have a spectacular uh, competition, wants to have a spectacular stallion in, in, the, in the arena and this is what people love but they don't know how to see the difference between an extended trot over the back and the difference between a a tenth step and uh, the thing what makes me a, a little bit sad is that even the official judges at the highest level don't make a difference nowadays and they uh, accept this and give high marks for for ten sources when I was a young uh, um, learner as a professional rider uh, it was a bad thing to ride uh, this competition trot or this, how do you call it, this uh, show trot. But uh, at the same time in the 80s it came up with this uh, private stallion shows in the breeding areas and everybody, even I, did, clapped our hands when a two and a half year old stallion showed this show trot. And we got used to it 
we got used to this uh, unnatural movement. Everybody likes it now and well, it's a show, it's a big show. And we forgot about the consequences for the horses. And this is where we are now. And this has a, horse has a fantastic front leg action in the Piaf. How can the horses do Piaf and Passage in the championships without being collected? What they do there, this is, this is not Piaf and Passage. Um, the Passage, which people make us believe it, that it is Passage, are very often tense steps. Uh, the difference is that uh, a passaging horse has a round bow with is especially hind foots. If you follow a, a hoof, a hind hoof with your eyes, uh, you should see a round a part of a circle but with a higher uh, amplitude. And this makes the swinging phase in the passage. If you have a horse which pulls the hind hoof under the body, waits a moment and brings it back to the ground, this is not passage, this is a tense step. Has nothing to do with passage because the suspension phase is created in the back and not in the hind leg. And so it is not passage what you see there. And the PF, uh, if you have uh, tense steps on the spot with sometimes diagonal footfall, this has nothing to do with passage, with PF. If uh, the horses are uh, stiff in front and the rider makes the horse moving on the spot, this is not PF. A PF is developed from behind to a soft hand over a supple back and the horse is on the hind leg and not on the hand and doing some stiff movements on the spot. But this is what we see in a very high percentage in our Grand Prix. And there you can see, you see spectacular extended trot, sometimes even with parallel footfall. You see spectacular uh, uh, half passes. Half pass is a collected lesson. This has nothing to do with medium or extended trot. And if you see those horses with these very, very spectacular half passes, watch their PF. And then you see if the back is supple or not. Then you see if the horse is on the hind leg, if the horse has flexion of haunches, if the horse is a real dressage horse, or if it is a stiff monkey. What role does the public play, the dressage spectator who goes to the championships? Well, they, play, they also play a big role because um, when they clap their hands, 50,000 did it, 2006 at the World Championships, uh, the judges, I think they feel good and they are uh, confident with their uh, marks and their decisions. And we have to we have to try to educate our uh, our spectators we have to uh, give new a new scale of worth we have to train them to see what is a, a spectacular presentation which costs health of the horse and which is a really supple and good trained well trained horse we have to train on on, on a very wide level our riders, our spectators, our judges, our veterinarians, everybody. Do you think the riders know about the mistakes they make? I would say many, many riders know because um, um, people who train horses to, um, to do a Grand Prix or a higher level dressage test uh, with a stiff back with stiff pole with um, tension um, they cannot feel very comfortable during the training phase at home I am sure that uh, you see many ugly pictures there and uh, if riders have to fight and to pull and to be hard and cruel to their horses at home they cannot feel comfortable they smile when they are in public and they try to make a um, a positive show outside but uh, we all don't know what happens behind the closed doors and people who are uh, what is early who are true they have to admit that this doesn't feel very good if things are this bad why are there not more experts who protest um, 
I think there are many experts who who have the same opinion but if these experts are in this machinery in the scene uh, you have no chance at the moment to argue against otherwise you are out all the um, people who open their mouth they uh, if you are a judge on a high level and you argue against this you are no longer a judge this is the problem um, our judges are not independent <clears throat> they are uh, they have to um, sing with a with a, a chorus they have no chance to have an own opinion <clears throat> if you go to a big competition and you <clears throat> score uh, following the, the classical principles you do this maybe once but never again and as long as we have this situation that uh, judges are, um, have to follow the mainstream and um, have to follow with their opinion um, t try not to get out of the, the average um, we have no chance to clear this and um, I know a few judges who tried to have an own opinion they had no chance we have to have independent judges and uh, strong judges who are able to say their own opinion I think then we can get rid of this uh, corrupt system